I'm a computer scientist and um, I am the founder and the main developer of the Electrum Bitcoin wallet. It was, uh, I mean, the first release was 10 years ago and uh, it's been a great success. It's the second year that I come to this uh, conference. Uh, and since then, um, we did not add a lot of new features, but we've been uh, consolidating stuff and improving user experience. So the, today I presented uh, what's going to be in the next version. And it's mostly an improvement in user experience because users will not need to worry about Lightning anymore. Uh, we, are, we have been trying to abstract away the payment layer, whether it's on-chain or Lightning, from the payment itself. So you have invoices that are both for Lightning and on-chain, and you have uh, issues, I mean, uh, you, ha you have s automated help for liquidity issues on your channels, like channel rebalance or swaps. Now I started to develop Electron because I, s I saw that there was a need for lightweight wallets that uh, do not require to run a full node, but at the same time that do not trust a remote node. So uh, this is uh, basically what drove me to, to write Electrum. And uh, so uh, we're trying to target every, everyone, basically. But um, when we develop something new, it's uh, at the beginning, it's always a bit difficult to use. And then we try to make it simpler. So we, ha we have a reputation of being a bit uh, hard to use for beginners, but that's, uh, that was not the case when we started with Electrum. It's just that we add new features and uh, then we simplify them. Now we have already implemented the Watchtower, uh, but it is a private Watchtower. So that means <coughs> it's not a, a service that you uh, can uh, uh, set at the disposition of other people. Um, that's not English, sorry, cut that. <laughs> Uh, it's not a service that you can uh, uh, provide freely to other people. Um, so the watchtower that we have uh, is in the client. So basically you have to set up a particular client that's called an Electrum daemon. And uh, that daemon has to be online all the time in order to watch your channels. Uh, the issue with that is uh, that um, this setup is a bit complicated and it's not mastered by uh, most of the users. So what we plan to do is to move the watchtower from the client to the Electrum server because the Electrum server is always online and the client by definition is not. So if we move it server side, um, we get the fact that uh, we you already have an entity that is uh, always online for free. We just need to add that there and it will be for people who run an Electrum server. But the game theory there is that uh, s somebody tries to, to uh, uh, broadcast an old transaction to steal your money in a channel, they don't know whether you run an income server or not. So they are, I mean, th just the fact that some of our users have this option is sufficient. Uh, we don't need to have all users run that. In our case, uh, you would need to uh, just sign the transaction for different fee levels. And then uh, at the time when you decide to broadcast, you, you pick the fee that corresponds to the current fee. I mean, in the short term, uh, we, are, we are going to have this release that I mentioned. We are also planning to improve the privacy of uh, so-called private channels by implementing uh, alias SCI, short channel ID aliases. Um, and then uh, in the long term, there is a lot. Uh, in the middle term, we have a new Android version that is uh, uh, a new application. I mean, I mean, the GUI for Android is going to be written from scratch uh, using Qt. So it's much more responsive than, um, than, the, than the current application. Our current application uses Kiwi and is, uh, is not very uh, fast, I would say. I, I really enjoy the speakers, I enjoy the participants, and um, uh, since I've been last here last year, I remember there was a wonderful boat trip, and I'm really looking forward to, to it this year.